already spoke about the, uh, the MTA bus, so I'd like to do that. Um, last week, uh, George, myself, and uh, Michael Taylor went on a little boat trip to explore the, um, the uh, drainage pipes that are coming from the Garrison, uh, uh, into Garrison Beach Creek, and I think it's also Marine Park Channel. Right. There, was, there are three six. locations. Supposedly there are six. We, right. found, we found three one. that we could see. Yeah. One that you can visibly yeah. see, which is on this. Which is on this uh, picture. I sent this uh, picture to um, Suzanne Matei, who is the regional DEC coordinator for uh, the state DEC. And uh, I also called her right. to tell her that everything was coming and told her what our concerns were. And uh, she said she would look into. Uh, did you get a copy of that? I did. Okay. Uh, she would uh, look into. Uh, whether or not it does violate any laws, um, whether it's federal laws that have to be uh, dealt with. Um, I should tell you what I was going to tell you this morning was I was at the Jamaica Bay Task Force yesterday. Because usually the Jamaica Bay Task Force uh, deals with issues uh, having to do with uh, rock, the Rockaways. But uh, yesterday the, on the agenda was the White Island and the Marine Park uh, uh, renewal. So I went there to see what they have to say. Basically, whatever uh, we heard here from the same uh, people. But I did run into a fellow by the name of uh, Mundy, uh, who we may know. Um, you showed me his card. I showed you his card. In any event, I had asked him about the same thing, about whether or not the city is violating any laws concerning the, uh, these drainage pipes. He said he didn't think so. He said he thought it was permitted under federal law. But uh, we'll find out for sure from uh, from uh, Susan Mate. Well, I don't know what drainage pipe you're talking about. Right. Oh. Like, did, you yeah. see, uh, did you see this? Uh, Where? Where Wait, I, let me. I'll explain. No, no, no. Uh, 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 rain, uh, let me explain. Uh, from Kitty Beach, some ladies pointed out across the creek there was a sandy spot with some culverts. These pipes. And those pipes are for runoff water the from the Parkway. Belt Parkway. Yeah. I looked up, the federal law is that runoff water must should not go into creeks or small bodies of water. They should go into larger bodies of water. However, the other side of Belt Park, Parkway is an estuary. So we're caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, so yeah. we went out to see the locations of these, Mike Taylor and the assembly myself, and that's the picture, one of those, that is visible. The others are not visible to the eye from the water. You'd have to walk along the parkway to find them. But they are runoffs of water. The point is, and the point that well, I tried to make and Alan agreed with, is that one, when they test water, to close the beach, they're testing for bacteria, not toxic. However, when those cars are going along the Belt Parkway, who knows what they're dropping along the highway that then gets washed off into the creek. We will get a ticket and a fine in Garrison Beach for washing a car on the street because that water goes into the drain that goes into this very same creek. So it's a contradiction. The contradiction is the city, the state, or federal may pour water into our creek, but we may not. So that's what we're exploring and now. It'll be, it'll be very interesting to see what their response is. Uh, cu curiously, um, I'm learning more and more about this stuff. Eventually, I'm going to be able to take over from your. Uh, um, one of the things I learned was that uh, the six new bridges that they're building. Uh, over the uh, crossings on the Belt Parkway were redesigned because of the Jamaica Bay Task Force. <coughs> the reason why they were redesigned was that uh, they now have to funnel the water, not into the water, but into a, um, I forget what they called it, uh, not a catch basin, it's, it's a, it, it would be a vegetated area that will absorb whatever toxins. The, the theory is that uh, if it goes into the land, the Bacteria in the soil will break down uh, the um, the oil and the gasoline and whatever else comes off into the water. So the, the uh, bridges are not. You know, when you have a highway or or any kind of street, there's usually a peak, so that the water flows on either side. 
uh, the way these bridges are going to be designed is that there's not going to be a, a peak, there's going to be a sub, somewhat of a slant, so the water goes all the way on one side, and um, if you've been to the Gateway uh, Shopping, the Great Gateway Mall, mm -hmm. between the Belt and um, Gateway Drive, there is like a park area, there's like a water area. That water area is designed to take runoff. Exactly what eventually will happen to all the highways in the New York City area where there's room to build those the kinds of things. So right now, even if we're right, I don't know what kind of remediation we would be uh, eligible for. It would cost a huge amount of money. I was also told another thing uh, was that there's so much rainwater that comes into the drainage areas that if they had holding areas, it could not hold all that water. So that was Mr. Mundy's uh, opinion. So we'll see. Um, now as far as the zoning, um, uh, basically nothing happened at that meeting that is of immediate concern. Uh, the big concern that we have, the immediate concern of course, what happens to the Danza property? Uh, 68 units, 34 buildings uh, will, if built, will provide a very, very large number of cars, uh, increased uh, usage on the area, the, the uh, utilities, drainage, sewers, and all that. So that, that is the concern. The question is whether or not that can be down zoned so that you can't build in that kind of density. And we were told, basically, even if we were to start doing this, it would take quite a long time. And also, as Terry pointed out, Terry Scalvo pointed out, we just can't rezone the Danza property. Uh, you can't just rezone a couple of uh, lots. You have to rezone the whole area. So um, I imagine that uh, we'll, we'll have to meet again to get back the meeting onto the whole, the whole uh, question as to whether or not Garrison Beach should be rezoned so that uh, we can't build, people can't build too high. Well, I just, I just would add, though, that uh, they did point out, and this I, I, well, obviously I wasn't there, but my chief of staff uh, sent me a memo on it, that the fire department would still have to approve, yes. right. even if the zoning permitted, the fire department would still <coughs> have to approve of a building uh, uh, of, that, of that magnitude, and whether or not they felt they could service it safely. So, I mean, there is that safety valve. I think we could make a very strong argument to the fire department, which already has difficulty navigating our courts, uh, that, uh, that they should, you know, deny, uh, you know, any such building. If I may, what I'd like to point out to, you know, each of us, because we talk straight to each other, on the dance of property, there were basically two alternatives. It's currently zoned as commercial. The only down zone would be residential. So let's say we look at townhouses as residential. However, the fight would be that if it was down zone from commercial to residential, that the developer could not have marina or docking. Then nobody's going to want to give that up, especially in a small boating community. So there really is not an alternative to the zoning of that property. The out, as uh, uh, Lou just pointed out, is will the fire department say going down Everett Avenue to reach the end of this avenue to the creek is, is a hazard or it may not uh, work. That's one of those things out in left field that we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But that sounded to us like the really the only option but when uh your friends will have terry address this as well if she'd like jerry george i understand that that's a different zone than the rest of garrison beach over right. on the waterfront right. you say it's commercial marine but wouldn't the same thing hold true for the canal that's not commercial and they have docks behind right. them so why should that be a problem to, to go from from a commercial to a residential on the marine. You've got the same thing in the canal, and it's not commercial. Good question. Terry, I don't maybe you can answer that. It was a good question. Basically, if you remember what they said, it's zoned commercially. Right. But in that commercial zone, it could be translated to a residential zone. Right. 
it's uh, in no, it's other areas it's called an overlay. A, a, seeth, a seeth 